All right, guys. Uh, in order to maybe have a chance of increasing stuff, I'm just going to take the prince, and the prince is essentially going to go home. Send all the beating the shit troops with him. Where shall we strike? An order? Yeah. The prince is going to go back to his brother Willis at Old Stones, and maybe if he stays in Old Stones, the baby making process will speed up considerably or something. I will leave Blackwood to deal with this. Bracken will go with the prince. There you go. Blackwood will deal with the siege here. Keep them locked down. While the Prince and Bracken go back down to Old Stones. And uh, I'll skip ahead to anything interesting. Because it's very little going on right now. Like I said, I don't really want to push on the Lannisters just yet. I'd rather have the AI fight each other. And weaken each other. Have someone to fight other than me. Because like with the Martells right now. They, own, they have no one to fight. Other than me and Gardner. It's just a question of whether or not they attack me or Gardner first. I'm hoping Gardner because I have greater military power. And they, that might shy away the AI from me. But we'll see what happens. Alright guys. The Hammer of Justice is severely pissed off. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go in. We're going to push. And we're going to just wipe out the entire Lannister army. And go on Castle Rock. Because the Gardeners are moving in on Lannisport slash Castle Rock. And I want to take Castle Rock before the Gardeners can get in there to take it. So... Let's kill me this army. We'll leave mud out of it. But let's do this. Bring your honor as we attack. Now, a small part of me wants the King of Rivers and Hills to die epically in some battle or other. So, I'm going to be very fucking liberal with, um, <laughs> with his safety, basically. Right, for now, we'll keep the, the Hammer of Justice at the back. What are these guys doing exactly? That's gonna hold hold steady, are they in the trees? Those catapults are gonna cause all hell. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, let's see if we can't. Alright, let's grab my infantry. Are they really going to try and hit me from all the way over there? Whack me, they're firing. <laughs> they're firing already. Okay. Uh, I didn't think they'd have that much range, but they are, they are fucking catapults, I suppose. All right. Ooh. That's gotta hurt. 
No worry, lads. You guys get out of there. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Take out those fucking catapults already, for Christ's sake. Where's my other... My fucking... My other cavalry went completely around. Okay, there's one woman. I said I was going to be liberal with the hammer of justice. I always keep forgetting about that. Let's stop you from firing because you can get some killed. Our cowardly foe runs. We must push our advantage. Yeah, lads, charge him down. They cannot escape! So we can't shoot them with the arrows. Yes, excellent. Turn them turn them right into my arrow fire. Get in there. It's not exactly an actual general that we killed, but still. There you go. I managed to kill their general. Their uh, captain, at least. I thought that, that was quite nice. I herded him into my archers, which was very funny. Eh, 8%. That's not too bad, loss-wise. It's mainly the cavalry that I lost, which I wasn't paying too much attention to. And I was, wasn't was anywhere near as overzealous as I was want to be with the Hammer of Justice. Because I want, I want him to die. But I want him to die, not on purpose, but in an epic way. But it's hard to, you know. The reason I want that, for those of you wondering, 
he's getting old, and I need a new heir so I can marry the heir off all to the Sark. But yeah, 158 uh, nine men. That's not too bad. I don't really give a shit about losing too many arm, uh, men, really. Hell, I might just even fucking release the troops that I get. Seigneur, we have claimed this day. Oui, mon roi. An honor. Seigneur. Glory to mon roi. We attack. There you go. And we take out uh, Ronit as well. Exactly the same thing. Glory to the king of France. Attack. Okay, guys. This is a very odd map. I'm really, 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 really hoping that they spawn, like, over on top of the ridges or something, rather than all the way frickin' up here, which would be a pain in the ass. I'm not even sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure they can't spawn up here, right? Right? Yeah? Yeah, either way. I have my troops in here. I'm hoping to be able to lure them to attack me, and then I can send all my cavalry around in one flanking move and just scare the shit out of them. That's the, uh, the goal. Alright, where... If they spawn, they've got their catapults over there, and the rest of them are just up here. All right, sweet. That's not too bad. I thought that was going to be a lot worse than, uh, than it is. I just have to move one unit of cavalry up to deal with the catapults when they get too close. Immediately. Uh, there shouldn't be any other cap ult. Should fucking piss off. Cunts blew a large hole in my defensive line, I think. Alright, let's not lose. Uh, they dealt with the cat bolts, that was their job. These guys should get routed when they crash into him. Lads, let's move around. Alright, now's the time to send in the cavalry. The cavalry. The enemy is badly blotted. They have lost half their men. I should have scared the shit out of him, in theory. Give him room to rout. Draw! 
Close in, close in. And then. Where's the king at? He's fighting there. Good, good, good. There he goes. All right, I think this has gone well. All things considered. Run down those worthless peasants. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to capture anyone but those guys over there. But that sir, it did. And 31% loss. Yeah. If I talk about the catapults a bit, probably could have sent the cavalry in sooner. Ooh, 500. Right. I'll take it. It's not the end of the world, really. I think it went. I think it went okay. I mean, I should have sent the cavalry in sooner. I think, but I was hoping that they'd have just routed. Huh. I've captured them all. Uh, I'm trying to get my faction to be like more liked, and I'm doing that by like releasing people. So. Okay. I'll let him live. <laughs> they retreated immediately back into the same place that they were before. Alright, I let them go. And now I'm going to go kill them again. So, where did Serret go? I released him, right? And he's not, he's dead, apparently, still. I don't know. I'm going to go run these guys down then, I suppose. Fuck it. Quick and straightforward, we'll... Uh... Do they? They don't have any, like, catapults or anything stupid, do they? No. Very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Yeah, I released them only to completely annihilate them afterwards. We have captured the enemy's general. That will teach all of Christendom will be awed by our victory Damn. here. To Senor, we have claimed this day. Senor, right, I'll give the Hammer of Justice some more shit. An honor, Senor. Well, to be honest, I may let Oliver lead some uh, lead some of the battles. To get him some command points. Although he doesn't have Night Fighter yet, so he can't kind of split up the troops. Which is irritating. So when he's got when I've got some individual units that he can uh, split up, uh, fight on their own rather than splitting them up with Night Fighter, then I'll uh, then I'll send the prince in to do all shit. <laughs> 